Hi everyone, it's an absolutely beautiful day out here at Defence Raya Golf and Country Club and today I'm here to make a very special video because I've been struggling with this myself and I wanted to share my advice and tips which helped me so much and I hope it can help you as well. It's basically with short chips around the green. Anyone who's seen my videos has seen that I've struggled with it in the recent past and I've been trying to work on it and I've developed a new uh, technique for myself looking at a few other videos. I thought if I could put that together and make a video for you, it could possibly help everyone as well. So I'll be hitting around 10, 15 yard chips today uh, to find myself uh, with a good opportunity to putt it, make a single putt basically. So this has helped my game recently tremendously and I hope it helps yours as well. So basically, what I'm doing, the idea is that I'm holding my 60 degree wedge and this applies to any wedge, if, even if you have a 58, 56, 54, however much you'll have to control the swing with it accordingly. But the idea is that I'm going to hit this wedge like I would a putter basically. So the motion of a putter basically is that it just goes back like a pendulum and comes forward. Previously, what I was doing was I was hitting with more of my wrist, hinging it back, or I was taking it too far back and I wasn't able to control where the ball falls. Now, since I've started doing this, I just kind of take it back like a putter and then roll it forward. And this bounce of the wedge, which I've never really focused on before, has come into play now because I'm feeling on the downswing, I'm feeling the wedge, the bounce of the wedge kind of go through the grass. So you're not kind of digging into the grass. That's not what you're doing. You're actually just scraping the bounce of the club of the surface, using that to push your ball forward. That's the basic idea around it. So the I've attached pins, uh, tees around the pin, obviously. That's almost about four feet, uh, because I feel like four feet is a good opportunity for one to make a putt on the green uh, from the fringes and the rough around the green. So I'm gonna to try to drop this about 10 yards onto the green and roll it up within four feet to give myself a better opportunity. So I'm going to set up, obviously, I put the ball uh, on my right foot. I'm very soft, it's a very soft grip. I'm holding nothing too hard because then you can't control the pace on the ball. So right foot, very light grip. I'm going to slightly lean my shaft of the club forward, just very slightly, and then just kind of go through with this putting motion right this that's it and hopefully we will find ourselves within four feet to make a nice putt yep so that's a nice one that's actually within a foot and this has really helped me recently and uh, it's it's honestly I feel like a foolproof idea because every single time I do it Obviously, it might go outside the four feet range as well, but I found myself near the hole more often than not. So let's try this again. <laughs> so yeah, guys, this is what I'm talking about basically, that this has really, really helped and changed my game for the better for the time being. And uh, again, depending on what kind of greens you're playing with, what kind of grass you have around the greens, you can choose to maybe use a different wedge. Uh, this particular course, I use a 60 degree wedge because the green has some hold on it as well. And if you want to hit it slightly higher, it rolls off too. So basically guys, that's the idea behind this to, let me once, uh, go over this just once again. So light, soft grip, the ball on the back foot of your stance and then a putting motion feeling the bounce of the club I'm using my 60 degree wedge let's try this again oh that's rolled a little more let's try that again <laughs> That's the idea. Go in again. <laughs> Guys, I'm telling you, you really need to try this and you'll see that your chipping around the green will definitely improve. Um, I wasn't really able to control the distance and with this, I know that even if I wanted to hit it shorter or longer, it's just about extending this pendulum motion a little more. 
and I would find that distance. So let's try this one last time. Yep, that's within four feet for sure. Oh, that was close. Anyway, guys, I really hope that this particular uh, chipping technique helps you. Obviously, uh, with the sputting motion, it's really helped me. In the videos I'll upload from here onwards, you'll see me using this technique as well. And if you ever watch my previous videos, I wasn't doing this. So I've been trying to work on this and hopefully this will improve my game, reduce my handicap, and I really hope that it helps you as well. Thank you for watching.